My name is Reed Schlegel and I'm an industrial designer and today we're going to talk about a few things you can do to take your design sketching process up a level to make it faster, cleaner, and sexier. So today we're going to talk about lines. Lines are the foundation of any drawing you're going to do, and a drawing in industrial design, especially for concepting, is all about communicating. And by being able to put a line down quickly, you're going to speed up your process, have more ideas, and actually come up with a better final product. So you can tell someone is not very confident when they're sketching when they do very small feathered lines. This is not a wrong way to draw, because there's no right or wrong way, but this takes a lot more time and looks pretty messy. Another way people draw that you can tell is a little bit lower on the confidence side is when they draw very, very slowly and meticulously. When you draw this way, your pen over bleeds into the paper, making a very thick line with little dots like here, where you have little stops that pull up, and it also takes a long time to get it on paper. So this is something that I think is very easy to fix. When I was a student, my professors really, really pushed for us to practice the basics and mechanics of drawing. When you golf, you practice your swing. When you throw a baseball, you practice throwing it. It's all muscle memory, and it's all about doing it over and over until you can do it without thinking. A great way to practice this is putting a few dots on a piece of paper and practicing connecting them. When you do this over and over and over again, your lines will go where you want them. They'll be cleaner, and they'll be faster. So do this as many times as you need each day just to start learning how to connect your lines. And they're not perfect, but for the most part, my lines went where I wanted them to go. Once you get past this exercise, another great thing to do is just take blank pieces of paper and draw as many straight lines as you can. When I do this exercise, I always try and start and kind of lift my paper, my pen up as I go. Because if you don't, you end up with a very pooled, um, kind of very thick tip to your line. And when they feather out, it actually makes them come together better later on when the whole line drawing turns into an actual image. But for now, just take a page and put as many lines as you can. And over time, they'll get very tight and straight and look as if they're a ruled notebook. This is something I try and do every time before I sketch, just to warm my arm up and also just get my muscle memory going. But straight lines are one thing. Another one that people all struggle with are ellipses and circles. Ellipses and circles are a little bit harder to practice, but they're still very, very important. When you're drawing a circle, I try and do the exact same ghosted shape, similar to when someone's golfing, they'll fake swing. I try and fake draw the line before I commit to putting it down. Because my arm was already in that muscle memory motion, it was very easy for me to go around and complete that circle. And the same thing goes for ellipses. So, circle, ellipse. Ideally, for my style, I like to have my lines connect, but you do not have to have this every single time. If you want to have a messier style, which actually allows people to critique your work because it's not as tight, you can intentionally go around a few times. And this still gives the exact same amount of information as a perfect circle. And this is something that might match my style when I'm trying to have lots of concepts, where this one I want to do when I'm only doing a few, and I want it to be a little bit tighter and cleaner. But something else to consider is also how thick your marker is. If I'm trying to draw something very, very meticulous and detail-oriented, I'll have a very thin pen. But thin pens are a little bit harder to make your lines match up because the thickness gives you a little less leeway for your lines to actually come back and connect. Whereas a thick pen, it's a little bit easier. Neither of these are perfect, but they get the idea across. And it's always good for you to think about how confident you are in your lines and how thick you want it to be. I suggest the earlier you are in um, learning your craft, you start with thick, and the more you perfect it, you get the thinner. But the thing I want everyone to really understand is also there's no right or wrong way to draw. People think you have to put your page down and draw all your lines as the page stands. But really, the best way to do it is to move your page. When I draw a line, I usually like to have my page at about a third degree angle. If I had to draw a line this way, it feels uncomfortable for me. So I like having it this way, and I can just put my lines down on the page that feels natural. 
So once you have all this together, you know how to draw a straight line, you know the orientation, your lines are going straight, you have your arm locked from the elbow, you want to really start throwing things down quickly. So a way to do that is just put your line and then keep moving the page with you to make it feel natural and quick. So this sketch took about two seconds. If I was trying to very meticulously draw each line, it wouldn't be as clean and it would take a lot longer. So this is the type of sketch I want to see in the ideation process. It's something that feels a little sketchy, so it doesn't have to be taken too seriously. It's fast and it's all about the idea and not trying to turn this drawing into a piece of art. So, in summary, lock your arm, draw through your lines, and over time, your lines will get straighter and more confident, and you'll be able to draw extremely quickly, making your process faster, and having you feel more confident in drawing in front of your clients.